started talking about this gig that we we had this night out together and it was the Scatterlights. And we were there with Mark Steele and Mark Lamar, weren't we? Yes. Yeah. Trying to remember these things is like trying to catch smoke in a bottle. It can't be done. But um, it inspired me to write a poem for the first time in years and it's called Watching the Scatterlights with John Hegley. <laughs> The venue is located in a modern shopping centre approximate to a bookshop, which may be why they called it the Academy. Not a hallowed hall of learning, but a shallow gallery of drinking and dancing. And as the DJ played uptown top ranking, we were upstairs not skanking. From the empty balcony we looked down upon the frail rock steady legends playing Guns of Navarone, me and Mark and Mark and John. So we took ourselves downstairs and in the crowd consumed by joy we let the beat instruct our feet and danced as best we could. Four white boys, which meant that we swayed and shuffled and nodded roughly in time. <laughs> Hegley somehow felt it more, throwing shapes upon the sticky floor that we could but aspire to. Arms swirling, legs akimbo, lost in music. When the concert ended and the gods of Scar had bowed and gone, I realised for the last half hour I'd just been watching John. Afterwards, in quiet delight, ears ringing, hearts singing, limbs aching, John and I sat in a gay pub, grinning over brimming pints of cider, blending in with the regulars like two trees in a pod. <laughs> not gay, not built that way, but two men full of love. Oh, no. <laughs>